All right, so it is time for Q and A's. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through those. And if you're new to following our page, be sure to check out our disclaimer under highlights. That this is for informational purposes only and not to be taken as medical advice. Okay, so this is definitely gonna depend on how old your baby is and just it's individual per each baby. Um, but exclu exclusively breastfed babies are fed on average 25 ounces per day. So it could be between 19 and 30. So again, it's gonna depend on your baby. Okay, so there are some great ways that you can help um, get rid of your loneliness and this is a very normal feeling with new moms just because you're getting used to new changes um, maybe relationship changes and you're not as social so here we go one thing is getting rid of the monotony so you're used to every day doing the exact same thing so switch it up maybe one day you go on a walk by yourself take the baby on a walk get outside um, a lot of times lab libraries have different activities that you can go to with your baby that are super um, beneficial for not only the baby but yourself getting out and uh, interacting with other moms as well. Um, another huge thing is being a part of a mom group, whether that is in person or joining a Facebook group. I'm going to go ahead and actually link our mom group because it has been a huge help to a lot of the moms we have in the group. It's, we have over 3,000 moms just real community, it's awesome. I have personally talked to a lot of the moms in the group and they have said that the group has helped them get through some stuff, helped them ask their questions, not feel judged. So I highly recommend you join a group of some sort um, that you're with. Um, next, honestly, you just asking the question and acknowledging how you feel is amazing and that is gonna help you. Um, so reaching out, maybe even to an old friend or to a neighbor, um, reaching out and acknowledging how you feel and then it's okay to feel that way is going to really help you with um, feeling better. Okay, so typically you will notice the most leaking within the first few weeks of breastfeeding and then your body will adjust and kind of figure out your schedule and then it typically will stop between um, six and ten weeks. So it's going to be different for everyone though. Whichever flavor you like the best. No, but um, there's no difference between the flavors. Um, they all have the rolled oats, the flaxseed, the brewer's yeast. So those are the key ingredients that are going to help boost your milk supply. So if you like a flavor better, I would go with that one. Okay, and I'm actually going to link one of my favorites, which is our white chocolate chip ready-to-eat lactation cookie. It's currently on sale for $14.99. So check them out. They are delicious. But we also have five cookie mix flavors and brownies. So I've talked about this before, but a big thing is supply and demand. So adding in more pumping and nursing sessions, also increasing supplements, so herbs that will help boost your milk supply, and also more um, baby, like skin-to-skin -skin contact. Also a huge thing that is underrated is hydration. Drink extra water, like more than you ever thought, um, because you need water to make milk. Also, if you are feeling like ill or you're recovering from labor, um, it does tend to lower your milk supply because your body does try to fix you first and make sure you're well and healthy before your uh, milk supply. So there's a couple other things you can look into as well. If you're not following us yet, be sure to follow us at Mommy Knows Best on Instagram. And remember, if you're watching this and doubting yourself, you are a great mom. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you next week.